Mademoiselle Ensace, deuxième Chanel, and Jodi, I know I'll parler des Zodiac Libra. Now, we're finally on track. I was falling a little behind because I'll be able to see it. And if you're a little confused by the little hat or whatever, you know, little mini costume, we are doing Vlogtober, where I will be uploading Monday through Friday on this channel for the whole entire month. So double tap that notification bell if you're subscribed and if you're not subscribed. I'll wait. <sighs> not done. We gonna wait? Thank you. Now let us start. So a Libra is an air cardinal sign that starts from September 23rd and ends on October 22nd. Now I will say, point blank period, when it comes to Libras, I don't love them, I don't hate them. They just there. Like that that's one sign that I could say is just there. I don't know what it is about Libras that I just ugh. <laughs> Man, if you a Libra, you watching this, listen, it's not nothing personal to you. These videos are very, very general, okay? Everyone's an individual. These are all fun. But when it comes to Libras, I will say, all of the Libras that I've been cool with, I've had a falling out with. I don't know if Libras and Capricorns just, we don't mix. I don't know if Libras and Capricorns, you just empire me lot. It's like chien avec chat, like cats and dogs, okay? I'm not understanding what it is about them that's always bothered me but then when i looked deeper into the zodiac i was like aha that's why i don't like the libras for real okay and it's crazy because like i don't want to say i outright don't like them because like it's not like i'm having major falling outs with libras right it's just like a distance thing it'll be like okay well i ain't talking to you for a couple months all right bitch i do miss you bitch all right we you my bitch you know it, it'd be one of those and you know i realized i forgot yeah libras are represented by the scale Okay, and um, I hate that shit. Yo, y'all about to be like, what is wrong with you? I don't like people that constantly play devil's advocate in life. Now, I play devil's advocate in my videos because it's a video and it's for entertainment purposes, but Libras are literally the epitome of devil's advocate. They are the poster child of fairness, justice, and everyone being treated equal. I feel like when it comes to a lot of Libras that I've personally encountered, a lot of them have played sides. And what I realize now that I've gotten older is it's not that they were being fake or they were playing sides per se. It's just in their nature to A, like peace and B, want justice for everyone. So if you just like me and you can't stand Libras, because funny enough, a lot of times when I watch YouTube videos and story times about like friend falling out the person's always a Gemini early bro. Always one of those signs. And I'm just like, y'all just have that characteristic where it's like, y'all always, oh, well, I see where they're coming from. Oh, well, I see that. Like, nobody wants to hear that shit in real life, okay? If you're if you're in a YouTube video, if you're on Instagram, if you're doing that shit as a damn judge or a lawyer, yeah, whatever. But like, in real life, nobody wants to hear that shit. Pick a damn side, yeah, pick a side. And of course, this makes them excellent judges, lawyers, and things like that because they're so good at seeing both sides of a coin. So. Of course let's get into more positives and then we'll get into that when it comes to libras like i said they are represented by the scale they're all about peace okay peace tranquility they don't want no drama no mess they're extremely diplomatic in almost everything that they do and listen if this thing keeps getting caught in my eye i'll keep it looking okay? if i look crazy i'll keep it i tried and since they're so fair and diplomatic, that makes them very, very cooperative and forgiving. They're very just. They're very known for giving grace. They don't hold grudges often for the most part because, again, they always want to be fair to other people. They believe that everyone deserves a second chance. But second chances should not be a thing because people should be treated fairly in the first place. They always cooperate. They're extremely outgoing. They're very, very generous people. So why is it? that so many people usually have problems with Libras. Well, that's because for the most part, Libras are very indecisive. They don't know if they want to go left, right, up, down. They never want to side with just one person or just pick or make a decision on anything. Mainly because they don't want to upset people because they don't want to disturb the peace. Because if there's one thing a Libra loves, it's their peace, okay? Just like how Leos love to lead and be in charge or like how Tauruses love their luxury and, you know, their safe spaces a libra loves 
peace. They don't like to yell. They don't like confrontation. They are very much so, I don't want to cause any type of conflict. So I'm just going to agree with this and be on my way. Now the problem with this is clearly now, if you're friends with people that clearly don't like each other, or if you're friends with people that are having a problem and they ask you to solve it, or if you have a problem with it or an opinion with it, and then some way, somehow you get asked the same question, you say something else, clearly it's going to be a conflict of interest because then it looks like you're a fucking liar. You said something this time, but then you said it that time to that person, it makes you look like a liar. But to a Libra, it doesn't look like you're being a liar. It just looks like they're being fair. Okay. So that's what being a Libra is. Okay. They're just very, very peaceful. Okay. They don't want to have confrontation with anyone. So they are people pleasers. And that's probably another reason why personally I can say I don't like Libras. I don't like people pleasing behavior. Uh, people pleasing behavior annoys the fuck out of me. I don't like people that like to please others. I don't like people that put emphasis on pleasing other people. Like if your whole basis and emphasis is, oh, I gotta please people, I gotta make other people happy, I just can't with you. That's just my personal opinion. But when it comes to Libras, I completely understand why they do that because it's, it's one of their things. Like they just, they don't like to be confronted. And of course, that's another con they don't like to be confronted and they feel like by being so diplomatic and being just and always wanting everyone to be treated fairly they're doing a good thing which for the most part they are who doesn't like justice right who doesn't like people being treated fairly but what they don't understand is in a personal setting in a friendship setting um in a business setting even you have to pick sides that's just life you have to pick one you can't have both okay you can't libras don't necessarily understand that they're just like why can't everyone just have the same thing why can't everyone just do this why can't everyone everyone just be happy <laughs> you know they, they don't necessarily understand that so they they spend their lives trying to make everyone happy trying to make everyone satisfied but it always blows up in their face it's just a part of their personality but life just isn't fair and Libras just don't understand that they often have a knack for running their mouth a lot they tend to confide in the wrong people almost all the time oh my god between them and Gemini I don't know who's worse when it comes to that they say the wrong thing to the wrong person next thing you know it comes back to them and it's like oh damn i know i should never send this shit to this person yeah you should just kept your mouth fucking shut especially when you can't pick a damn side libra come on now Libra is ruled by Venus, which makes them amazing lovers. If you ever find yourself with a Libra, consider yourself lucky. They are selfless, very, very selfless. They will literally take a bullet for you. If they are literally gonna die of hypothermia, they will take off their jacket and give it to you. They are extremely generous people. When it comes to friends, when it comes to relationships, when it comes to all of that, like they really, really care for the people in their inner circle. But again, just like a lot of other signs that I've mentioned previously, that's if you could get in their inner circle. They're not that trusting, um, but it really does depend. Like you have to find a way to make them comfortable to, to really get to that point. But at the same time, they seem to be comfortable enough to like really run their mouth all the time. I don't know what it is. Like mostly, but maybe it's just me though. Cause the, a lot of Libras I've met, they're really comfortable with me and they, 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 you know, they confide in me. But for a lot of other people I know, they've always said, oh, Libras, or, you know they seem very closed off they seem quiet they're always off in the corner but then you know later on you find out that they did or they said this that and the third and it's like i don't know personally most leavers i know they kind of out there they didn't like the party for me but you know in terms of them being ruled by venus they're very very affectionate you know they they, they will show you that they love you they will be there for you you never have to worry about a libra you know in terms of if they love you or not because if they stop loving you they'll probably let you know too they they, they probably will or um they won't Libras have a horrible, horrible reputation for being um, promiscuous. That sounds so bad, but it's true. I'm not the only person that said this, okay? I know the Libras are probably going to chew me up, but it's true. Libras have a really bad reputation for being promiscuous. I've never been a Libra. I have friends that are Libras. I ain't going to say nothing. All I got to say is Libras that I've known, almost all of them have cheated on their partners. It hasn't ended well. So you got to be real careful. Yes, they're amazing lovers. Yes, they'll love the hell out of you you have to be careful because more than likely sometimes they get bored um sometimes they get uninterested because a lot of times they feel like they're probably not being treated fairly they feel like the partner is not being just with them so you have to be very very careful you have to communicate a lot with the libra you know that you're with but if you treat them well if you treat them right they're probably the best people you can be with also since they are ruled by venus you have to be very careful with them when it comes to money and dating or just money in general because
because they are very materialistic. They love the finer things, okay? They love to travel. We in Libra season right now. You got a Libra friend? I guarantee you right now, they in Cabo, they in Netherlands, they in Finland, they somewhere. They love to travel. They love the finer things. They in first class, okay? First class, okay? They, they, they love the nice things, okay? They like to be pampered. They like to have the greater experiences. And honestly, I can't blame them. Who doesn't like a nice thing? here and there. I know I do. However, when it comes to the Libra, this ties into their image, okay? They're very big on image. It's very strange. So when it comes to Libras, they're very, very calm, cool, collected, and just. But they can be a little unorganized um, and, and all over the place in their heads. Um, so most of the time, they kind of strive for structure, right? They they kind of strive for people to keep them grounded in a way. I mean, let's be real, they're, they're an air sign. Air, you can't necessarily contain air, really. It's just, it's all around us it's everywhere so when it comes to a Libra they're constantly looking for things to make them whole and make their image the way they seem the way they look the way they sound whole if that makes sense I hope I'm explaining that correctly and Sage just ran into a door this cat man this cat it's one of those things where they're, they're just constantly looking for something to validate them, to make them whole again, to make them feel like they have a sense of structure. Because Libras, I hate to say it, y'all are probably some of the least structured zodiac sign. It is what it is. Y'all know who y'all is. Now, I kind of already touched based on relationships, but another thing I'd like to add is when it comes to relationships, they're always searching for that deep sexual connection. Mainly because, you know, Scorpio, is right next to them and we know Scorpios in their sexual healing okay Scorpios be all over it with that so since like you know their signs are so close together they're always striving for that next whatever I, I don't even know how to explain it like I don't want to say they're never satisfied but you have to be able to satisfy a Libra which is probably why a lot of them are known to cheat because they're probably just not satisfied in the bedroom they're always striving for that deep connection beyond sex right they don't want to just be okay boom boom goodbye bam they want to be sexually satisfied mentally satisfied emotionally satisfied they want someone they can have a conversation with someone they can love someone they can be with long term and sadly a lot of times Libras don't really find that that's probably because a lot of them don't have the most amazing communication skills a lot of them do tend to stay to themselves a lot of them are really really quiet calm off in the corner some of them can be like the life hardy and stuff but it really 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 depends and it does take them time to warm up so it's just like it, it, it really depends on the type of Libra you get when it comes to making friends with a Libra you have to be very very careful because most of the time Libras tend to make friends with people that they can see themselves above that sounds so bad but it is what it is they known for having duffs um they're known for having friends that are beneath them in terms of pay brackets in terms of career brackets um whatever the case may be just so they can make themselves feel better that's a massive con that's something that they tend to do there's a couple signs that tend to do that definitely but libras oh my god libras tend to do that a lot so you have to be very very careful because for the most part libras don't go out their way to sit there and make friends with people so so if they're sitting there and they're just approaching you and they be your friend and they be overly friendly be very very careful as to why evaluate that now again of course not everyone but evaluate that shit now when it comes to friends and family they're horrible with conflict they like to avoid it at all costs like i said before so especially if they are not brought up in an environment where they feel like they can express themselves this really does manifest itself in friendships and families because they will never ever speak up about how they truly feel about anything they will just go with the flow they will just agree they will be yes men people please and ask motherfuckers okay and this is why a lot of libras don't tend to find their true personalities until they're so much older that's probably another reason why i'm not gonna lie that's probably why i don't like libras i can't stand somebody that don't know themselves i ain't gonna stunt but it's crazy because it's not necessarily their fault i kind of blame the people that have libra children um because a lot of people are not necessarily you know cultured in the zodiac realm which a lot of people don't take zodiac signs seriously right like it is all fun and entertaining for 
a lot of people but if you really do take these things into perspective when it comes to certain signs certain signs need certain things certain signs can stand alone okay certain signs you don't need to do a damn thing you gotta foster shit okay like a leo they'll be just fucking fine okay capricorn they'll be just fucking fine a libra yeah probably not you have to foster them you have to foster their dreams you have to be there for them you have to let them speak for themselves you have to encourage them to speak for themselves and have their own opinions or they never will they will probably never circle back to that inner child that didn't have a voice they'll probably never circle back to that person that they once were that they could have been and it could be really damaging to them this makes them amazing parents because a lot of them recognize by the time that they become parents that their childhood was probably shit and they did not have the time to speak up for themselves they did not have the courage to speak up for themselves and find their true selves so then with their children they instill the confidence that they really need like a lot of the Libra friends that I have it's it's been amazing seeing them grow into being parents because it's like it's a complete 360 from how their parents treated them when it comes to Libras and career money they don't like feeling trapped by money okay if the money or the job whatever the case may be is something where they have to be there they have to slave away there's no PTO there's no vacation days if you call out you're gonna be screaming at them they gonna quit in a heartbeat they don't give a shit okay I'm not gonna say they're not hardworking. I'm not gonna say they're not consistent because that's not what it is they just don't want to be bound by anything okay they want to live their life they want to chill okay they're the definition of soft life probably also the sign that started the great resignation okay they are not about to slave for no fucking dollar okay Libras are like oh well if, if, if it ain't for me it ain't for me <laughs> like that, that's a Libra all right they, they're not about to sit here and literally be worked like a dog just for a dollar now when it comes to being managers leaders or anything that has to do with organization they have horrible organization skills a lot of y'all ain't gonna stunt Libras y'all be messy y'all not good at organizing anything not your thoughts not your room not your life <laughs> I'm sorry it, I said what I said and uh, they they're not that great at that um but it depends if they're on that Libra Scorpio cuff maybe but even Scorpios I wouldn't put a Scorpio as a manager of anything because most Scorpios don't care to do that type of shit for the most part unless it's for their own personal benefit if it's not like what a, a fucking high ass pay raise a Scorpio's like bitch where <laughs> like you know so yeah those two signs yeah you don't I don't want to say you don't put them in charge of people but you don't want to put them in charge of people um Libras and Scorpios also have that horrible what do they call it power trip type of switch you don't want them being your boss you don't want them being your manager because they will go on a power trip okay child controlling is all hell if I ever go to a job and I found out that my manager or my supervisor was one of those signs I would probably run I probably run because no I ain't got time for that I don't have time that you have a bad day everybody having a bad day although they're not the best managers and I guess leadership type they are really good lawyers really good judges anything in the justice type of field they work really well in charity or anything that really gives them a voice and or a platform and if they are fostered properly as children they can be really good speakers authors or anything else in communications so with that being said let me know what you guys thought about this video definitely comment down your zodiac sign if you're a libra i'm sorry i hope i ain't dig into you too much don't worry the capricorn video is gonna be brutal probably so you know y'all can dig into us y'all can dig into us with that being said make sure you guys like share subscribe do all that and i'm gonna see y'all next time Bye.